music from outer space. Synth DIY. Hi, this is Ray Wilson of Music from Outer Space, and I'd like to uh, present what I'm calling the Very Clock module. It's a board that goes with the MFA 16 step sequencer, and it allows you to give that sequencer a time per step setting. And essentially what you have for each step is you can take uh, and set it for 1 to 16 clocks, uh, and that's how long that particular step will last. Um, you set the time per step with the, these knobs here, and these four LEDs are the indicator of how many clocks are going to be uh, spent on that particular step. Uh, step duration equals the binary count plus one master clock cycles, or main clock cycles, if you want to call it that. And so, as you can see, we're set here, we're, we're at the stop uh, state, and we're on channel one. And as we increase this knob, we see that the binary count goes up on those LEDs. And that is essentially uh, the indicator of how many clocks per step you're going to get. So if we set uh, this for, let's say, uh, there, it, we're, we're getting the binary indication of 2 plus 1 is 3, uh, the rest here, these first four steps, are set to 0. We'll step through them just to show that. Okay, And then we're going to reset when we get to that step. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit Run. And you're going to see that we're spending three clocks on step one. So if you look at these uh, LEDs in conjunction with what's going on up here, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, and so essentially we're spending three clocks on uh, uh, channel one. And of course the same thing happens uh, throughout the entire sequence as you set up the clocks, or excuse me, set up the durations. And uh, one thing you want to do is, okay, is as you're setting this, you want to make sure that the LED is on nice and bright because you see, you don't want it like that. You want it nice and bright each step, and because what that means is the uh, A to D converter is boom. It's converting right away to the correct number. There's no jitter, but if you are, you know, if you've got an LED that's kind of half jitter in there. You want to you want to make sure it's on uh, completely on you know, on each step. Now we're going to be looking at the output of the gate and the control voltages on the oscilloscope, so you can kind of get some of these modes that I'll be talking about. You can choose to clock either with what I'm calling the uh, the Q clock or uh, what I'm calling normal. Now this is a prototype. Of course, a lot of changes have been made, but it's called normal clock now. And if you just put this down here, you can see that uh, you're just clocking normally and you can set the rate here you know set the rate pretty fast and actually set it pretty slow too now of course when you are on Q clock and you have the rate set really slow you can go really really slow because if you turn these durations up like we'll turn this guy up to 16 uh, that first step is going to have to go through 16 uh, master clock cycles before it steps forward and so you can, you know, make some really long times uh, that you're spending here on, on a particular step. Okay. Alrighty, so we'll speed this guy back up so we can see what's going on. All right, now you notice uh, we talked about Q clock uh, and we talked about master. And, you know, master or, excuse me, normal is just, boom, it's just clocking along there. Okay. In Q clock, we have our time per step settings. Now over here we can see uh, we have the gate outputs and there's two modes. There's a multi-gate output and a single gate output. Now when you're in single gate output, the time that you spend on a particular step, uh, the gate will be half of that time. So it'll be, if, if you're set for four, okay, let's go ahead and we'll set this guy for four. Remember it's binary indication, three plus one, we're set for four. This guy's going to have four clocks each time. Now the gate length, if you were looking at this when we're in uh, single gate, 
will be half of that. So it'll be, you know, the two clocks long and then two clocks low. So you'll have two clocks high, two clocks low for channel one. Now, though, if you go into multi-gate, what that's going to do is it's going to put out four gates on channel one and then one, two, three, you know, one on each of these other channels unless you change this. And of course, this is all real time. You can change this as the sequencer is running and it'll, you know, so if you're uh, making some wacky pattern or you're, you're just wanting to do some uh, experimentation, you can go ahead and change them as it's running. And of course, the durations will change in real time. Now I'm going to go ahead onto the oscilloscope and show you these gate modes. All right. Now, um, what we're in, we're in uh, single gate mode now and what I'm calling the Q clock clock source. Uh, right now, all four of these first four channels are set to zero duration or, excuse me, one, because we want to add one to the binary indicator. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn channel one's duration up. Okay, and you can see now it has gone to two clocks wide. Okay, now it's three clocks wide, four clocks wide, and if you continued to turn it up, it would be, you know, would of course get up to 16 clocks wide. Uh, let's see if we can turn this down some and see if we can get up there. All right, that's going to be 16 clocks wide. All righty, and there you go. Now we'll change him back down to one. We'll go ahead and spread this out a little bit more. Now I'm going to put it into multi-gate mode. And now, when everybody's set to zero, multi-gate mode is no different from uh, regular mode. But now, as we turn this up, now we see, okay, we're going to get two gates during the time of that voltage step. Okay, now we're going to get three gates. Now we're going to get uh, four gates. So one, two, three, four, and then this gate is for that step, this gate is for that step, this gate is for that step. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the third step and I'm going to give him two gates. Okay. So see, each one is independently settable. And now this guy's going to pump out two gates during the time of his uh, voltage. And now if we go back to single gates, uh, you can see what we have. The gate time is high for half of this step's duration. All right, so that's the difference between uh, multi-gates and what I'm calling single gates, or, or excuse me, normal gates is what I'm calling it on the, the new panel. Okay, now I think uh, it's time to just go uh, play with this with the synthesizer a little bit and uh, show you some of the things that it can do sound-wise. <clears throat> okay, uh, I've got the sequencer hooked up to my Mark II, and right now what you're hearing is a sequence where we're spending three clocks on step one, two clocks on step two, and then one clock on step three, four, and five. All right, so we're going to slow this down, and again, so you can watch the clock here. So we got three on that first one, one, and hold on. One, two, three. One, two, one, one, one. One, two, three. One, two, one, one, one. Okay? Now we'll speed this back up a little bit. All right, now we're in single gate mode. I'm going to switch over to multi gate mode so you can hear what that sounds like. See, now we're putting out three gates for channel one, two for channel two, and then one for each of three, four, and five, at which time I'm resetting. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this for reverse so you can see that no matter what direction we're going, we'll go through the uh, clock uh, correctly. One, two, three, one, two. One, two, one, two, three, one, two. See, so you're getting the right number of clocks uh, per step. And of course, this is uh, throughout the whole thing. I, I just have a, a short sequence here just for demonstration purposes. And you can. 
kind of an unusual sounding little sequence just goofing around all the steps are set to one except the first one I have all the gates turned off except the first one if you turn in here Here we have a sequence where every other step is uh, two clocks. And I have it set on multi-gate, so you're getting gates for every time as well. I go to single gate. There's another little interesting sequence. Uh, every other one again is set for two. We'll speed this up a little bit. Uh, we're going to set this sequence up for three on the first step, three on the second step, two on the third step, uh, and then one. Okay, we want two on that fourth step too. An old sequencer without the multi clock feature, <clears throat> since there's three, six, eight, ten, that would normally be ten steps, but now, and you'd have to sit there and tune a bunch of them to the same note and so forth. So, this is kind of a cool feature. And I think you're going to like it in your synthesizer. So, um, I hope you get a chance to build this. As I say, it's a challenging project. Um, you know, <clears throat> I decided to build a new one. I'm going to integrate one into my old sequencer uh, just to make sure I don't run into any other issues that I need to publish. But uh, so far, uh, this is looking real good. I'm real happy with it. So now, I think I'm going to go make some sequences. All right, thanks a lot. Ray Wilson, Music from Outer Space. Thanks for watching, and I, I hope you get a chance to uh, build one of these. Check it out. Pretty cool. Music from outer space, synth DIY.